Even if you plan on doing some yard work this weekend, here's the Weekend Gardener with some tips for you this morning. Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the Weekend Gardener. Well, we're at the home of uh, Lynn Ferrer and Helen Ferrer, and uh, good morning. Good morning. Uh, and so, um, composting. This is what you're doing here and teaching here. Tell us a bit the, about the different methods that you use. Well, we have five different methods of making compost here on in our backyard. We have the wireframe platform that we're on now. Yes. Uh, we have binless piles. We have composting going on in cardboard boxes. We have composting going on mm -hmm. in pallet bins. Mm -hmm. And we have compost going on in concrete block bins. And the next thing to do is um, the instructions that you all will give somebody that comes over on what this process is and what the ratio is and even how to do food scraps in the home kitchen. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, we have, yeah, we teach them how, how to make the compost. We have sustainable gardening. We have five different garden beds in the yard and we also have mm -hmm. the uh, worms. Yeah, worm compost. <laughs> worm compost. And, um, and, and that's another process on its own. It, 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 homeowners can do just that one if they don't have space or live in apartments these days. Yeah. And, um, you know, one of the important things is some people who don't know about composting think there might be a fragrance in the area. And there's nothing here except the uh, sweet smell of earth. Right. And so um, this is something that we can all do, isn't it? Yes. yes. The, on the only time I have any smell at all is when I'm initially building a pile and I'm mixing yeah. leaves of manure, but once it's been there a uh -huh. couple of days, there's no smell yeah. after that point. And even that doesn't drift off into the distance. It's just no. if you're standing next right to next it. Right yeah. there. So it's a good operation to do, and folks should be doing this these days. Instead of buying fertilizers in the bag or anything, a beautiful landscape can be had just by um, uh, studying nature and making a, a wonderful compost. So what we're going to do is come back and uh, visit some more on the techniques and uh, how anybody at home can do this. Okay. okay. Well, the Ferrer residence, making compost, and it's a good place to learn about composting. For The Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgul. I'll see you next time. And for more great tips, you can catch John's Gardening Show on KLBJ 590 AM. Still